Hey guys, we are continuing our grilled summer dinner party. And if you missed last week, you can get caught up by clicking the annotation where I'll show you how to make the first part of this menu, my grilled lemon thyme chicken with rosemary potatoes. And you still have time to enter the sweepstakes. So for this series, I am collaborating with Coyote Grills, who is sponsoring these videos and providing you with a chance to win one of their beautiful gas grills. One lucky winner will win a beautiful 28 inch grill that comes with two high performance burners, 640 square inches of cooking space and interior lighting. These grills are beautifully made and built to last. In fact, they come with a lifetime warranty. All you have to do to enter is click the link in the description box below this video and you will get yourself entered. Good luck everybody! So this week I'm going to show you how to make the starter for this menu, my grilled panzanella salad. Now if you're not familiar with a panzanella salad, it's a traditional Tuscan salad that's served in the summertime with fresh tomatoes and typically stale bread. But we are not going to use stale bread for our menu, we are going to use grilled bread because it is going to provide so much more flavor and become a lot more summery that way. So we're going to take our ciabatta and cut thick slices and then to that we are going to brush it with a little olive oil mixture that I've added some minced garlic and salt and pepper to. And then we're ready to head out to the grill. The other thing that I like about this grill is its compact size. So it's only 28 inches, which is a great size for a grill that you want to have in your outdoor entertaining space because it allows you to kind of be grilling food and talking with guests all at the same time. Now the grill I'm using comes on wheels, which is nice if you need to move it around your yard, but these units also come as built-ins, which is quite nice if you'd like to create kind of an outdoor kitchen design as well. Then next we can prepare our vinaigrette. So in a small bowl, we're gonna add four teaspoons of red wine vinegar, one clove of minced garlic, and three tablespoons of olive oil. You can whisk that up with a fork, just making sure that the oil and the vinegar are combining. And then you're also gonna add some salt and pepper to taste, and a pinch of dried oregano. And for this salad, one of the ways that I like to serve it is to use a variety of tomatoes. This time of year, tomatoes are at their peak and you can find lots of different colors that will just create a really beautiful summery salad. Then when it comes time to assemble, we are gonna take our tomatoes, put them in a large bowl, and then you're going to add your delicious vinaigrette on top. And also to add a little bit more interest, I like to mix it up and use some green basil and some purple basil. And then you want to give that a toss, making sure that all the tomatoes are coated. And then we're going to cut our bread into chunks as well and put that on top and then give that a toss. I find it's better to toss the tomatoes first with the vinaigrette and then add the bread so that the bread doesn't get too soaked up in the vinaigrette. And there you have it. Your starter is ready to go. Okay, so next up, the dessert. Now sometimes when you're hosting a party in the summertime, you may not have the time or the energy to whip up a fruit pie, but I'm gonna show you how you can get the same effect of warm fruit and ice cream with a grilled fruit sundae. This is one of my favorite desserts to make, especially when I'm grilling outdoors because it is so quick and easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is toast our almonds. This is what we are going to put on the top of our sundae, and it really does help to give your almonds a lot more flavor if you just toast them a little bit first. So then we can prepare the next part of this recipe, our cookie crumb. So for this, I really like to use just some crisp amaretto cookies because I find that that combination between the almond and the apricot is really delicious. So I like to put them in a resealable plastic bag and just give them a gentle whack with a rolling pin and that will create our cookie crumb. And the moments before you're ready to serve dessert, you're gonna take your apricots, slice them in half, remove the pit, and just brush them gently with a little vegetable oil. That will prevent them from sticking on the grill. And then we're gonna grill these apricots cut side down for about five minutes each side, just until you get some nice char marks and the fruit is nice and tender. And then to serve, we're gonna place one big scoop of vanilla ice cream, tuck in your grilled apricots, drizzle some honey over the apricots and the ice cream. And then you're gonna add your cookie crumb and then top with your toasted almonds. Doesn't that look delicious? I love this dessert idea. It is so yummy, it is so summery, and it is so easy. That is the best part about it, let's be honest. 
I hope you guys give this menu a try this summer and let me know what you think. And I also hope that you enter the sweepstakes. One of these beautiful grills could be yours. Just click the link in the description and head on over to enter. Good luck, everybody. And special thanks to Coyote Grills for sponsoring this series and collaborating with me. It's been great fun. And I will see you guys back here next week for another quick and easy summer recipe. Until then, bye. Thank you.